When navigating your folder structure inside of Onshape, it is now very easy to rename a folder in the breadcrumb trail at the top of the screen, just like the document renaming. Here we are, we can just go ahead and open our lawnmower. Also be aware that Onshape will let you rename the folder even if this document is opened. With this update, we bring you some improvements for sketching in Part Studio. You can now easily turn a three-point arc into a semi-circle. Just drag the arc until you see the three dots and click to confirm. We have also improved the elliptical arc and you can quickly snap the start and end points to the quadrant points now. When selecting threaded holes, you'll now find a new option to select the appropriate thread class. As you might expect, this thread class is automatically displayed in the hole callout on the drawing. New in Onshape Simulation is the ability to have new loads automatically be suppressed when adding them to a study. I am adding a new load to simulation one, but I already have a simulation two. Simulation two is not automatically getting the new load condition. You can obviously set it here with the check mark if you wish. Previously, auxiliary views could only be created by selecting an edge. Then we create a view normal to that linear edge. This update brings the ability to create a view that looks directly down an edge, axis, or sketched line. Section headers that you're used to seeing in the web version of Onshape are now available in the mobile interface. You can also sort them by list view or by grid view. This makes it easier to find exactly what you're looking for, like this publication. Instant search filters are now available on Android devices. Simply select the filter icon and you will be presented with a list of instant search filter helpers. And then you can further refine the list by typing in a name at the top. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.